when they come to us, we want them to feel in the cancer center that they've been enveloped um, with a family, a team that will take care of them and walk them through the entire process in what is undoubtedly um, the most challenging and scariest time in their lives. Everybody is awesome. They've always been awesome since day one. I always tell people they're like my second family. There's nothing fair about telling a young um, single mother of four that she now has brain cancer. It's, it's overwhelming emotionally, physically, and financially. Being diagnosed with cancer, there's a lot of questions that patient might have, a lot of anxiety, a lot of emotional needs. Um, you know, their life is being turned upside down. So as an advocate, we would be there to listen. And then if I have any questions, you know, they're patient. They're not like, I've seen some doctors that okay, just want to hurry up, get you in and out. They're not like that, none of them. We see this not just as a job, but as a mission. We don't practice within a box. We actually practice real medicine. Whatever the patient requires, we will go extra length to get that for our patient. I built a friendship with her. She used to always tell me in the beginning that I was her first priority. So that made me feel good. Within the hospital, under one roof, we have a lot of other subspecialities, and the physicians are in constant touch with each other to be able to coordinate patient care for the best outcomes. The medication that involved in her treatment was discontinued, and so it was a struggle. Um, what I had to do is call every single specialty pharmacy until I find one that actually still had the drug. They go the extra mile for you. Not just for me, I mean I see it with all the patients. Our patients inspire us every day. Every day we get to see and meet and follow patients like Debbie. Patients who really show us um, and inspire us that, you know, with um, great treatment, with the right treatment at the right time, people can do very well. They can um, move forward with their lives and become survivors. And it's really just very gratifying and it makes every hard moment something we push through because we know there are good outcomes and happy stories to tell. I don't drink, so otherwise if I drink, I probably go down and celebrate. <laughs>